morning everyone welcome to a new vlog i'm very excited to be filming again i'm going to try and film four bits and bobs of this week i don't have anything crazy planned at all i have had the craziest last couple weeks and now i am fully hibernating i just had my coffee it is monday the 21st of august fashion week is right around the corner so i'm really trying to get my apartment my life my mental state my health in order before that because that's gonna be an insane month yeah so i just read for a little bit i read like 10 pages of the unbearable lightness of being i'm not really obsessed with this book and i feel like my the last couple books i've read i've not really been super into but i feel the need to like i have to finish it but you know when you're like half reading something I feel like that's where I'm at with that book and I feel like there's no point at that point. I have only that much deep. I've been having a really hard time concentrating on reading but I think it's because I'm not really into the book. But I really want to start a book club. I was going to originally start it in September but I think it's a little too soon for me. So maybe October. I want to do more book content on YouTube. Let me know if you guys would like that. Anywho, forced myself to get up at 6.30. It's 7.30 right now. I've been slowly ever since I got back from LA trying to like fix my sleep schedule. I was going to bed late every single day there for sure i just went out so much but i actually i had the loveliest time i think before this trip i had been to la only really for work i'd been a couple times if you guys remember if you're an og here i went with my best friend avery to la in 2018 or 17 we were 17 or 18 i don't remember while i was still in high school and lived in canada and that to us that was the most crazy trip ever and we had so much fun and this this trip felt the most like that. I actually ended up like seeing and like hanging out with some of the same people that I hung out with during that trip, which is crazy. So it was really cool to catch up with some people because like our lives have changed so much in the last five years. My heart is just really full after that trip. And yes, it was a crazy trip. We did lots of crazy things, but I wouldn't say that's why. I think it's more just like I allowed myself to be more social and I feel like I made friends whether or not they think we're friends. I don't really know how the culture works there. I know that like some people are pretty whack there and like they probably wouldn't consider me a friend. I don't know. I felt like I made friends and got to connect with people. I really enjoyed that and I, 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 I don't know. I'm just, my heart is very full. I'm very grateful for my time that I spent there. I was also with another one of my best friends in the whole world from Canada so it was really nice and i met so many canadians which is like that also like made my heart so fucking full i love being around canadians and being around people from toronto yeah and i'm going home in october i'm really excited but we have all the fashion weeks first i actually think i need to go home before october because while i'm away at fashion week i'm gonna leave him with my mom because she is a cat as well and they're the same age so i think it'll be really good he loves being with another cat and i think my mom's cat is dying for a friend and then in october i'll go pick him up very excited for the next couple months milo i don't know if you can see him milo is jai mungo i think he's looking at birds right now i'm not really sure what he's doing it is 7 30 i am going to plan some outfits because my assistant's coming over today at around noon mondays we shoot content so we're gonna do that i have like nothing to post whatsoever i also have an aloe workout at 10 so i am going to do that i'm gonna show you guys what my closet room is looking like right now because i feel like it looks better than the last time you saw it it's hard for me to get a good angle because i can't fit the whole room in the frame but basically i have these what's it called metal i don't fucking know rock situations in the wall i have three of them i have this carpet i just put down there's milo those two things are full of pants and they are going i don't really know if i'm gonna do shelves in here or do a dresser and then on this side i have a rack with my remaining shirts this is going today i have a task rabbit coming and i have two more of these things that are getting put in here and here and so then all these tops will go on there and then I'm hoping all my pants will also fit on there. And I'm hoping that that will be good and I will finally have this room done. I'm gonna pick out some outfits that I wanna shoot today. with right now those two outfits are donezo this is a maison kitsune ad i have 
to shoot. This is a work in progress, and it's kind of top. And then this is the disaster over here. But I have to go get ready for Aloe now. Hello, monkey. Oh, he just woke up from a nap. He's giving me a glare. Okay, let's leave him alone. Just got to Aloe. Feeling depleted. And my skin looks so bad. I just got back home from Aloe. My assistant's gonna be here literally any minute. I need to do my makeup and change. It's so fucking hot outside. We'll see how shooting goes today, but at least the sun's out. We'll see how it goes. I at least wanna get three photos done. One of them are inside, so. Oh, he's here. He is here. You've blessed us with your presence. Can't tell if he hates me or loves me. He loves me. I'm literally your mommy. <laughs> I love you. You hungry? Yeah, he's hungry. Go crazy, go crazy. Yummy, 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 yummy. update you because I haven't spoken to you all day. I was shooting with my assistant pretty much all day and wasn't vlogging while I was doing that. That was hard enough. We went and got flowers and I swear to god I am just bad at doing everything a girl is supposed to be good at because what the fuck is this? Ugh, I just like I have no words. I'm, I'm done with the floral arrangement situation. Anywho, I just been working on my computer the last hour or so and now I am going to go get tacos for dinner with my friend. Hi, sorry. Oh, wait, can you hear me? I'm good, how are you? I'd love to take you through a little bit about um, kind of what we're doing for New York Fashion Week vibes. It's yeah, so cute. Good morning, everyone. I just had an exciting meeting about Fashion Week with the brand I'm working with, and I'm doing a lot of organizing today. It is 12.30. I guess I'll show you the progress with the closet room. Bear with me. This is a horrible angle. I need, like, a wide lens, but... As you guys can see, like I said, I have three of these little racks. And then yesterday, TaskRabbit came and put up two more. And so now the whole room is full of racks. I actually don't understand how I have this much clothes. It kind of made me reevaluate. But I've put all my, like, tiny tanks and, like, tops up here. I did it by color. Down here are outfits I want to shoot. I don't think it's going to stay like this. Because right now, this whole block is all new clothes that I want to style or shoot. But I need to go through it because... It's question marks. Mini skirts, long skirts, long sleeves slash, no, like cardigans, what, like lights, I don't know. Also like random tops and then like long sleeves, I don't know. And this is dress, oh my fucking god, literally. This is like a good representation of my life. I move too fast. My mom has told me since I was a young girl, slow down. Marlo is just like, Bitch. Not again, mom. And the thing is, I actually really wanted to drink this. Whatever, man. Whatever. Good thing I have more. If you're an OG, you also would remember Stoke. I feel like during COVID, was it? Or, I don't know, when I was vlogging like every single fucking day, I used to drink this shit every single day. And that's where I found it. Anyway, I recently started buying it again. So I add a little bit. This is called a Berkey. And it's basically a water filter. Also, picked up... Oh, fuck my leg. Actually, bro. This is what I've done. This is what I've done. What I was trying to say was I got that plant and that plant yesterday. And I think they look really cute. I want more. I 
I've been pacing my paces, no kamikaze I've been making my makers say what I'm offering We've all had behaviors and they were troubling Smoke way too much, I keep coughing I pull out all the stops to make a profit When I get down to the bottom, I need topping Come here and ease my mind, be my clonopin Let me chug this thing and be proud of it I will carve it in and I'll make you feel like you on the cloud And you can't sit still when we on the floor and I'm on the floor Hey guys, I'm filming a TikTok for Jaded London. Can you see the outfit? It'll probably be up by the time this goes out. Okay, I'm gonna get copyrighted. Bye. You feel like you on the cloud and you can't sit still when we on the floor and I'm on the floor when you use the force. There's no problem. Hey guys. Oh, let me turn this off. I literally would have my videos copyrighted to have Drake in my videos, but we're just getting back on YouTube. But let's not copyright myself. Also, I think it like bans you in certain countries. I just filmed my jaded TikTok. I need to edit it. I also need to answer some emails. And then I think I'm going to go to Trader Joe's with Isa and get some stuff. Because I have no food right now and it's really scary because I've been ordering too much. What was I doing? There was something I like I needed to do on my computer and now I can't remember. Oh, that's what I needed to do. I need to post my Aragamo TikTok. Tickety, tickety, tickety talk. Yeah, I haven't really done much today. It feels like I've done nothing, but also feels like I have. I finished hanging up my pants, which took a while. And then I want to do Depop photos, but hopefully I'll still have light if I go grocery shopping. I filmed my jaded TikTok. I have to film an H&M TikTok too. I'm wondering if I should just do it now since I'm ready, but I also like need to edit this and send it to them ASAP. So I'm like a bit overwhelmed. I probably shouldn't be vlogging right now, but what can you do? I also want to take an Instagram photo in this outfit because I really like it, but I'm like, fuck, there's a lot to do. There's always more to do. There's always fucking more to do. That's why I have an assistant and I love her very much. I'm spiraling. I'm on a lot of caffeine. <laughs> That's what gets me through the day. All right, I should stop filming because this is embarrassing. I love you. I'll see you at Trader Joe's probably. I just got back from the grocery store, so I thought we could do a little haul. Ugh, where's my hair lost in it? Oh, Milo. Hello. My boy has been sleeping all day, all day. All day you've been sleeping, all day you've been sleeping. Mwah, I love you, I love you, I love you so much. Say hello to the vlog. Oof, you can really see the mess behind me. Whatever. I never go to Trader Joe's, but now I do because Whole Foods is so expensive. I get my produce, generally speaking, at Whole Foods. Anyway, arugula, spinach, tomatoes. We're making a big salad, actually. I'm gonna leave this stuff out. Actually, we're gonna put it away, because knowing me, I'm gonna do a million other things before I make this salad. Oh fuck, I'm actually not making a salad. I'm making something else. Organic hummus and sour cream spinach dip. Broccoli, because it's my favorite vegetable, I think. Peppers are a new found love, and baby cucumbers. Two sweet potatoes, a thing of lemons. Ooh, I got raisin bread because I grew up eating this shit all the time. I'm gonna freeze half of it though, so I'm gonna put it aside. Pomegranates, grapes. I'm gonna try these out because I love ice cream sandwiches and apparently they're good. Tuna might be my favorite food. Actually, octopus is my favorite food, but tuna is a close second. I love seafood. I don't know how I feel about Trader Joe's tuna though. I'm trying this cheese. Last time I went to Trader Joe's, I tried a bunch of cheese and I hated all of it. Chicken tikka masala for those. Lazy days. I got two types of pasta because I'm out. Organic feta for my salads. Pita chips. Green beans and broccolini. And then last but certainly not least, I got a coconut water because Issa said they're good. They're kind of mid. And then I got peanut butter filled pretzels, which actually make my stomach hurt so bad. But they're so good and I can't stop eating them. I don't know why I do this to myself. I should have just not bought them. I don't even like peanut butter. That's the craziest part. I'm gonna drink this green juice. Finish up some emails and stuff before I make my big ass salad. Oh wait, I'm not making a salad. I keep forgetting. I'll show you guys what I'm making when I make it. But I need to do some work first. I actually have so much fucking shit to do. And I need to charge my camera. So catch you later. like 
Lisa made it for me like a couple weeks ago while she was here. It's like Oyakodon, I think. It's ready. It's really easy. I have a Japanese market like right next to me. And I just got ribeye beef they had in the freezer fridge section. Onions and then this is the secret sauce. I'm just going to put it over rice and eat her up. I made rice. I'm like notoriously like not a good cook. I don't, I, I don't know. This is an example of what I meant by I'm like bad at like everything a girl is supposed to be good at. Cooking doesn't come natural to me. Like I think I fucked up the rice. No, I actually think it's good. What would I do without a rice cooker? I don't know. Rice, I could not do for the life of me on the pot. It would just always come out too watery, not cooked enough. I'm gonna put it in this bowl. This rice looks pretty fucking banging though. I also like always feel like I'm not put together. Just in general, like I feel like even like when I meet up with my friends, I'm always the one who's like a little bit disheveled, not looking their best or like not, I don't know, dude. I need like a team. Also, I feel so sick. I ate like that half a bag of those peanut butter pretzel things. Like, I'm not hungry at all right now. <laughs> but I was like, I told myself, I'm gonna cook. <laughs> like, I'm gonna make dinner tonight. I'm gonna be an independent woman and not order food. And I didn't order food, but I actually feel like I'm gonna throw up from all those, that peanut butter and fucking whatever the fuck soybean oil is in there. Literally, actually, I'm gonna throw them out. There's way too much bad shit in there. I should know better. I hope you guys don't mind me like talking so much. Like, I don't really know what you guys want to see from me. I feel like this is like uncut Ruby on YouTube. It's just like whatever and whenever. It's just kind of me talking. It's like a podcast, but different areas in my house. Because I don't really vlog that much of me doing things. It's usually just like me talking in the house, I feel like. I feel like there's a good amount of you who actually want to see that. So I'm going to keep doing it. For those of you who don't and like are expecting actual properly well produced YouTube videos, just know you're not getting that here. So I'm going to put on some sesame seeds. If I had green onion, I'd put that on, but I don't. This is what it looks like. It might look bland to you, but I promise it's yummy. See dinner or anything, so I feel like wearing a heel will be too much. I'm just going to tie it together with my little Bottega Jody. Hey guys, it is the next day. I didn't film all day because I was just working from home. But I'm going to a Philip Lim presentation. No, not presentation. Summer cocktail. I'm meeting Lucy there. This is what I'm wearing. This top from Depop. A little scrunchie from Good Squish. These capris. You can't really see. These capris. Excuse the mess. I was taking Depop photos. And then my little ballet flats in this bag that I got off right up. So yeah. Oh, these are from Puma. I'm running very late. I'm attempting to walk there actually because I feel so gross. I haven't left the house today and I need to move my body. I will see you guys there. going to aloe pilates this morning i'm wearing sweatpants because it's getting kind of chilly again my leggings my little aloe sports bra under this tank top because i'm going on the subway and sandy liang solomon collabs i don't know why but i'm giving like stubby right now i don't know anyway i'm just bringing this purse because it's pilates i don't have to bring anything all right gotta go <laughs> Just finished aloe. How are you feeling? Good, it was a slow burn. Really amazing, slow burn. Kiss the camera. Kiss the camera. Hey guys, I just got back from aloe. I'm going to make some bone broth. We did Pilates and it was so good. I love the instructor. At aloe, I will link my leggings. They're literally the best. And I'm not even saying this because I go to Aloe now. Like, I had never tried Aloe prior to, like, going to the Aloe studio. And it's literally the best. My boobs are not, like, huge, but they do need support. And their sports bras actually do that. There are other brands that I'm not going to speak of that don't, that I've worn previously. And I get everything in an extra small, which normally I feel like I'd be a small, but I just get smaller so it's tighter. This top is so cute, especially for Pilates. I love the little... Chris Cross. I bought bone broth the other day. That's really good. I'm trying to heal my gut right now. I'm on heal my gut TikTok, if you can't tell. I get it from this place called Springbone Kitchen. This one is liquid gold. It actually tastes so good. I'm like a salty person. I am a salty person, but I also like salty things rather than sweet. So I'm just gonna take this little pot. 
Turn that flame on. It looks like that, which honestly looks kind of nasty, but it's just because it's frozen. And I'm just going to put a chunk in there and heat it up on the stove and drink it. But it's so good because it's like salty and it's full of fucking nutrients and shit. I don't even know. I've been feeling not amazing lately. You might notice in these upcoming vlogs, seeing a different side to Ruby. Um, I feel like I've been pretty erratic and just like losing my barbells lately, but whatever. Anywho, I'm going to drink that and I'm going to film my Q&A that I wanted to film yesterday, but it didn't happen. So I'm going to film it now and then my sister's coming over and then I have an aloe dinner tonight, which I'm terrified for because I don't know anyone actually going to the dinner part. But it'll be fine. Facing fears. Mm. Okay, so I finished filming my Q&A. It was very fun and cute. I'm excited for it to go live. And now I'm just cleaning up a little bit because there is just little messes all around the house. And then I'm going to work with my assistant on some stuff for a secret project. munchkin so much he was acting like a crazy person this morning though all right <laughs> hi i just got back from aloe i didn't film this morning because i was looking horrible i'm gonna be honest i'm not at the point where i'm gonna film while i look horrible just know that i look horrible a lot anywho sorry this is self-deprecating my kitchen is a mess today is a big cleaning day it is Friday, which isn't really a cleaning day. It is rainy and groggy today. I have a lot I want to do. Good spirits. It's probably like 11 now. Oh, not cat hair all over my face. I went to aloe dinner last night. It was super cute and fun, and I got to see the aloe fam, but I felt extremely awkward when I walked in, because first of all, I was super late, and second of all, I walked in, and like normally at these like dinners, there's like name plates at least, so I was like, okay, even if I don't know anyone, I'll have like, I'm supposed to sit here type thing, and I'll just talk to whoever's beside me, but it was like, oh, just sit wherever you want. I was like word don't know anybody here but cool let me just sit wherever i want and like not talk to anyone thank god i saw two of my friends there thank god because i would have probably left <laughs> knowing me anyway it was cute but they sent us home with huge goodie bag basically the dinner was celebrating their you know collaboration with sephora because they're going to be selling their aloe gel shots which are basically like vitamins packed into these little shots i'm going to do one after my shower i think basically they have advanced collagen shot which you can take every single day i'm really excited because they're also like yummy vitamin c and then this one is like good for like if you're feeling sick or like you're hungover this is the immunity rescue shot vitamin c d k a and then it also has like probiotics. Reishi? I don't know what that is. They also put like so many goodies in the bag. I fucking love aloe. Literally ride or die. First, freaking open this. Sealed off the tape. Oh! Ah, oh, shit. Well, I already broke something. So classic, Ruby. Literally so classic. I'm still gonna use it. Oh, it smells good. But Mary Louis Marie. Marie Louis Marie. Candles? Yum. I love a candle. Candles are such good gifts because like I'm always sad when I like, run out of candles. Oh my god, there's so much cat hair on my face. It's really bothering me. Also, there's so much glass everywhere. I don't want Milo to get into this. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do something a little ratchet. Bring out the Dyson. Why don't we just vacuum the... Oh. See, something's been going on with my Dyson where it doesn't really charge. Like, I'll plug it in and it's just not charging. Like, what, what, what's that about? Does anyone know? Whatever. I, I think I got it all. This is my coffee from this morning. You guys are going to see the transformation of my apartment today. Because we're getting to work. Let me finish showing you everything and then I'm going to hop in the shower. We have a crown comb. I don't know if you guys care about any of this. 
but I feel like some of you guys just like watching long vlogs. I'm like a big, like I watch YouTube videos instead of TV most of the time. And if I really like someone, I want them to put out like an hour vlog. I'll just watch them talk. So like if you like me, but I don't know if you guys like me, so. <sighs> okay, I'm like Delulu. Anyway, this cute dry shampoo from aloe body lotion i love all their fucking body and like help Ugh, i don't know what the word is low face mist oh my god they have all this stuff in their bathroom at the gym and i love it and i don't have any of it so this is perfect absolutely perfect insta glow face mist love 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 magnesium oh this shit slaps and it smells good magnesium reset spray wait i'm gonna do it like after I get out of the shower. Body wash. Oh my god, I needed all these things. Travel spray extra milk from Dead Cool. Oh, it's just like a little perfume. Ilia liquid highlighter. Love Ilia. Except for there's one thing I actually don't love from Ilia. Oh, this I'm not gonna use. See, I can't use anything with shea butter in it. And they use a lot of things with shea butter. So I'll add this to the giveaway. Restorative hand cream. Natural deodorant. We love, we love, we love. Bath soak. That's cool. Too bad I don't have baths. Head to toe glow oil. So if you want to glow, this is what I will be wearing. I need a vacation. Look how fucking pale I am. Alright guys, I'm getting in the shower before I lose all my energy. Thanks for staying for this haul. Oh my god, now I have to clean up this mess. This guy was waiting for me right as I got out of the shower. He so loves his mommy. He loves to cuddle. It's my favorite thing about Milo is he loves to cuddle. Allison's here. Oh, my posture. <laughs> Allison's never been in the vlog. She's my Canadian Aries twin. Hey. She's helping me with the chocolate covered strawberries. We're going to our friends who's having a game night of some sort. I'm not actually <laughs> sure what we're playing or what we're doing. I know. Actually. But it's like a potluck too. I think it'll be really cute. So we're bringing a charcuterie board. Me, Lucy, and Allison. Bring a charcuterie board and choco strawberries. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, thick. That, that kind of looks like a heart. They look really that good. looks really cute. I'm giving Ruby some thumbnail advice. I think you should do this thumbnail. <laughs> oh my god, jail. Actual jail. I like the like Sola. Ew, 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 ew. Alright, Issa. <laughs> She's like, get out. Issa's here. It's the next day. I didn't film anything at game night. Issa looks so gorgeous. She's literally an angel. I am, in a way. Me, on the other hand. Uh, um, excuse, like, the hundred pimple patches on my face. Me and Issa are just doing some computer work. Well, we actually haven't started the computer work, but that's the plan for today. It's Saturday. Got my iced coffee. I'm gonna sit my ass right here all day. Yeah, we're gonna do work. Yeah.